Greetings from London. A few of you must be wondering how does a filmmaker fit in with the rest of you. You might be right. I mean, who has the time to watch film and TV these days, right? Um, we're all too busy with too many other things. At the same time, I was in the train here in London a few hours ago, and I would say around 40 to 50% of the passenger of different ages and backgrounds were on their phones watching some kind of video content. And what we watch can really shape or reshape who we are and redefine us and help us find our purpose. At least that's definitely the case with me. As a 14-year-old boy in Greece, watching Sindler's List in an Athenian cinema changed my life in two very profound ways. First of all, help me realize the meaning, the value of human life, of every single human life. And secondly, it helped me realize what I want to do for the rest of my life, which is join a group of people that wants to share these stories, wants to make people feel empathy and compassion, because you cannot be a good filmmaker without feeling empathy and compassion for others. You cannot tell the story of a war veteran who has just come back home and feels alienated from the country he fought for without empathy. You cannot feel the struggle of a cancer patient who thought he had decades, you know, to see his kids grow old and he realizes he's told he has only a few months to say his goodbyes without empathy and compassion. You cannot tell these stories the right way. So after traveling over 68 countries around the world, filming people of such different backgrounds in the most unlikely of places, I've realized that there is one thing that unites us all. Two basic needs. Every single human need to me filters down to two simple human needs, very basic ones, to feel loved and to feel safe. I mean, think about it. Think about us living in a world where every single one of us feels loved and feels safe. Isn't that really, I don't know, in my opinion, this is literally heaven on earth. I mean, for some religions, heaven is something that is far away that we need to fight in this life to gain access to. But in my opinion, in a love, in a world full of empathy and compassion, where everybody feels loved and safe, it's already heaven. Again, if you ask me. At the end of Sindler's List, Oscar Sindler is given a ring, a golden ring. And he realizes that if he had offered that ring to the Nazis, he could have saved, saved one more Jewish person. One more person would be alive in exchange of a ring. I mean, it makes you think of the legacy you want to leave behind, right? Do you want to, you know, do I want to be the guy who wins five Oscars? Do I want to be the guy who everybody in the future talks about as the greatest filmmaker of all time? Or do I want to be the guy who helps people helps people understand and ease the tough spots of the human condition. And I would say, after many years, I feel that it's the latter. I really want to help people enjoy life and feel loved and feel safe. And we can all do that. Each one of you in that room, we can all do that. You know, we can help people feel less alone. We can be kind and we can make them feel part of a community that wants their best. And to me, that's the meaning of my life. So these are my two cents, and um, I hope you're having a great time over there. I wish I could be there. And most importantly, happy birthday, Manoli. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.